Hello, what's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how to fix cannot start the application and it works on all the games and all the applications that you want to start but doesn't start and let's start off with the fix. So guys, the first thing you want to do is go to settings. Then you want to go down to storage. System storage and then you want to go down to saved data. And now we want to look for the application that we want to start but doesn't start. For example, I'm just gonna choose one, uh, GTA. And if you see a data that is corrupted, what you need to do is you can do delete if the uh, save it, uh, it's safe to do, but um, you will lose that data. But what you also can do, guys, is I'm going to show you another step too. What you need to do is turn off your PlayStation. Just completely turn it off. And wait till the PlayStation is to just like turned off completely. And now guys. Now guys, go to your PS4 and keep holding the power button till we hear two beeps. And I'm gonna show you how. Like, that's one beep. And a second beep. And once you did that, just leave it like this and go back to your screen and guys if you don't see anything on your screen like you will see if it says like no signal or things like that what you need to do is grab your controller and I'm grabbing it now so go to source and just change it again I'm just changing it back again Go to PS4 and now you will see this screen right here. So guys, once you did that, you should uh, see this screen right here. Safe mode, connect to DualShock 4 using the USB cable and then press the PS button. You want to just exactly do that and we are connecting our PS4. So now you will see this screen right here and what we want to focus on is rebuild database but if you aren't able to update your PlayStation 4 or uh, if it doesn't support online or maybe your application needs online to start what you need to do is update system software but I'm gonna show you the rebuild database so a lot of people have <clears throat> corrupted data or things like that that prevents them going on their application or game Now click on rebuild database by the way guys it won't delete all of your data or all of your applications It will only rebuild like the corrupted data. It will just remove the corrupted data That's the only thing it will do and I'm gonna prove it to you that it won't delete anything on your system It's safe to do guys, so everyone can do it. <clears throat> so your PlayStation just will automatically restart. And by the way guys, if you like or subscribe, you maybe get a little bit more luck. Who knows? And now you should see this screen right here, Rebuild Database, the Rebuilding. It might take like five to 10 minutes, or for some people it will just take maybe hours or 30 minutes. Like you see on mine, it's just three minutes. And it works on all the uh, types of PlayStations like PlayStation Pro, PlayStation Slim or uh, the old one, the first PlayStation. I'm gonna skip forwards. 
so guys I skipped a little bit forward and now it's updated and like you see I still have all of my games I still have all of my storage like you see and by the way guys now what you want to try is pull the disc out and pull it back in and try to start off the game so thanks for watching guys and what you also can do the last solution you can join this error fix community we will help you around with these type of problems guys so goodbye take care of yourself